Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be continuing my ranking series with highlighters. So last time I did blushes, before that I did foundation and concealer. I will link all those below. I have 13 highlighters, six of them are cream and seven of them are powder. So just like I did with the blushes, I'm also going to be separating this between cream and liquid highlights and powder highlights. So starting with the cream highlights, this one was almost as hard as blushes for me. I really do love all of my highlighters, so it was really hard for me to rank them against each other. But I think I would say my least favorite cream highlight is the Clove & Hallow Hydra Glow. This is in the, sh in the shade Galaxy. This one is a liquid and it comes out in this like dropper style bottle. It's a little bit messy and it also can kind of separate sometimes, so that's really the main reason why this one is the lowest ranked one. I do still really like it. I just have to be really careful with this one. A lot of times I feel like I end up getting too much with the dropper, but really all I need for both cheeks is just like one drop. You could also mix this with foundation. I think this you could use this for a lot of things, but the main way that I use it is as a, as a liquid highlight. So my number five is the Becca Champagne Pop Liquid Highlighter. I have the mini size of this one. I, I Don't get me wrong, I really, really like this one. It's just very subtle, almost so subtle that it's undetectable. To me, the Becca powder highlights are more on the intense side, whereas this liquid one is quite subtle. I really do enjoy this one though, and I feel like I could pan this. I mean, I've, I'm already like halfway down. Um, and it is a really nice one. It's just not one I reach for super often. My number four is another liquid. This is the e.l.f. liquid highlighter. I think it only comes in one shade um, and it just comes in this squeeze tube. This one is a very glossy highlight, very kind of pearly. It can be a little bit on the greasy side and I, I really prefer this for kind of no makeup days or very light makeup days. It gives a really pretty almost like, I don't want to say sweaty <laughs> sheen, but it almost just looks like your skin's natural do, but it is definitely a lot more intense than the Becca one. It does pack a punch just in a slightly different way. So those are my three liquid highlights. Actually, my top three are cream like stick highlights. And it's funny because with the blushes, my top two were both liquid blushes and my bottom four were like stick cream blushes. So I guess I'm kind of the opposite with highlighters, at least with the ones I have right now. So my number three is from Jordana. This is their Glow & Go Creamy Strobing Stick in the shade Pearl Glow. This is a light kind of champagne colored highlight, beautiful shade. Normally I'll just apply this with my fingers to my cheekbones in any area that I want to highlight. Um, it's very natural looking, but it also shows up. Does that make sense? It just gives a very healthy dew to your cheekbones. Really, really like that one. My number two is actually one that I don't think you can buy anymore. This is the Ulta Face Highlighting Color Stick in Pixie Dust. This is a little bit more pink tone, whereas the Jordana one is a little bit more like a pearly champagne kind of color. This one is actually in my project pan right now, and I just love this one. It just looks like the glow that my cheeks would naturally produce, um, which honestly the same goes for all of these cream highlights. I feel like that's the great thing about cream highlights is they they look a lot more natural, even if they're not quite as subtle as say like the Becca one, they don't necessarily look like you're wearing highlight. My number one cream highlight is actually in a duo stick. This is the Oma Beauty Double Take Contour and Highlight Stick. I love the contour on here. The highlight is equally lovely. It is so creamy and smooth and buttery. This is also kind of a pinkish toned highlight. I really like cream highlights that are this kind of dusty pink kind of tone. The Ulta one is that kind of color. This one too. This one is similar to the Ulta one in shade, but it's just even creamier. It just like melts into your skin like butter. Mm so good. So those are all my cream and liquid highlights ranked. It really does pain me to rank these because I truly love them all. But if I were forced to rank them, that is how, it, how they would rank for me. All right, moving on to my powder highlights. I have seven of these. I have way more highlighters than I need, wow. So my number seven, my least favorite of this group is actually the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder in the shade Rose Glow. It is one that I have to be very careful with. I've found that it looks best when I just apply it very, very lightly. But if I'm not careful, it can just look like a stripe on my cheeks that doesn't fully blend in. It can look a little textured and just, it's just kind of weird. It's not the most natural looking highlighter, even though it is just this really pretty like soft pink kind of powder, but it's beautiful 
when I just apply a very small amount. My number six is actually also from e.l.f. This is the highlighter from their Cantaloupe Bite Sized Face Duo. I love the blush in here. This one ranked very high in my blush rankings. The highlight I also really like, but kind of similar to the Rose Glow one. I like an intense highlighter, but it can just, it can be a little too much to the point where it can look kind of textured on my cheeks. So just like with the Rose Glow one, I do just have to use a light hand with it, but when I do, it's beautiful. But yeah, neither of those is necessarily the most foolproof highlighter, I guess you could say. This one I wasn't sure whether to include with the creams and the powders, but I decided to include it with the powders just because I feel like it's more of a powder than a cream. This is the ColourPop Super Shock in Monster. So this is a duochrome highlight. It's kind of a squishy, creamy powder. I love this one. This is the only like duochrome highlighter that I have and it's really, really fun. The base of it is pretty much clear, so it doesn't look too frosty on my cheeks, which I appreciate. Looking at it, you might think, Whoa, that looks like it would be way too white and frosty but it really just has this cool like pinkish red shift to it. I feel like a lot of duochrome highlighters can look really really intense. This is actually quite subtle and really pretty. It definitely doesn't go with every look that I do but it can be really fun. My number four is my Ofra highlighter. This one is in the shade Retrograde and it is a split pan so it has Star Island and Neptune which is this like frosty lavender kind of shade. This is very, very intense, <laughs> but for such an intense highlighter, it is lovely. Similar to the Becca formula that I love in that it goes on looking very, very smooth, but it is like borderline metallic. So you want to keep that in mind. This, I actually have Star Island on my cheeks today layered over the Ulta Cream Highlight in Pixie Dust. So that's what's going on. I used a very, very light hand with that. Usually I'll just mix the two together for just a light kind of lavender highlight. Very, very icy and not for every day, but it is really, really fun. My number three is the one from Aether Beauty. This is in the shade Pink Diamond Dust. So this is kind of like a rose gold highlight. I feel like this one wouldn't be for everyone because it's borderline glittery. I don't want that to scare people away. It's hard to describe. I would describe it as more like glimmery than anything. You definitely look like you're wearing highlight when you're wearing this, which you know, for some people that may be not what you're going for. For me, I don't mind that. It just kind of gives your cheeks this like glimmery wet sort of look and I love the golden tone of it. It's just, it's so beautiful. And I love that the packaging is also paper. It's recyclable. That is a great thing about Aether Beauty. They are very like sustainable with their packaging. So we are getting down to the top two. My number two is one of my all time favorites. This is the Becca Powder Highlight in Champagne Pop. Beautiful color, kind of similar to the Aether Pink Diamond Dust, but a little bit more champagne-y gold. And this one has more of a like a smooth pearly finish while the Aether one is a little bit more glimmery. It almost makes my cheeks look like glass or like porcelain, if that makes sense. Like I feel like, it just, it definitely looks like I'm wearing highlighter, but it's so just smooth. It looks amazing on camera. I feel like I get a lot of compliments whenever I'm wearing this one. This will forever be one of my favorites. I don't think this will ever not be in like my top three highlighters. My number one is my other Becca highlight. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. This is more of a rosy tone highlighter. And I feel like this one is um, even a little bit better just for every day for me than Champagne Pop. It's not every day that I can pull off a golden highlight. It has to be the right kind of eye look. Whereas this one can go with most looks that I do. Same formula and everything as Champagne Pop, same just smoothness, but I don't know. It's so hard, like these are so close they might as well be tied. But uh, I feel like, well, when I did my If I Can Only Keep One video, this was the one highlight I would keep just because it goes with the most looks. But I truly love both of these so much. It's very hard for me to even rank them. So those are all of my highlighters. I have so many. I used to have a much smaller highlight collection and I feel like it's gotten a little out of control, but I love them all so much. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I will link all the other ranking videos that I've done down below, but otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you again soon and hopefully I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.